there are a lot, a lot of foreigners coming into Singapore, and the population of those foreigners are increasing. It's not because they come to Singapore to work, but they come to Singapore to do some sort of and keep and keep things that the government has overlooked. And all those Jalapi police are doing nothing. I said, I said, I have to uncover this and expose what is really happening in Singapore, despite how much I support the government. But still, government has to do it to it. It's okay for foreigners to work in Singapore, but there are many foreigners abusing the Singapore law to work illegally, but in a legal way. There are some people are using their work permit and then they take another job that is online. Especially the Malaysians who come to Singapore. On paper, you see about 600,000 Malaysians with work permit or some special pass came to Singapore. But in reality, Might be. more than 900k of Malaysian coming to Singapore to work and they work in a way illegally. But now I'm going to expose what is really going on in Singapore and why we are seeing a lot of Malaysian or other foreigners of Filipinos or Indonesians or even Chinese, China Chinese and even those people from Indian stay in Singapore and at the same time doing things as illegal but in a legal way. For what I see on the social media, TikTok, I tell you, TikTok is a very toxic and pervert platform nowadays. People are selling a lot of on TikTok, even selling secrets, even selling liquor, including sex, in an indirect way. So TikTok is actually a toxic platform, and that's the reason why US want to ban it. And those people who are doing business in the TikTok are using our information. So TikTok has become a trouble and toxic to the society nowadays. That's really what happened in the world and also in Singapore. Anyone can sell things online without any business coming. And that's what the Malaysian nowadays are doing. Just for example, this girl which I saw on the TikTok platform in some kind of hand job parlor. Hand job parlor. I mean those massage thing, you know, masua. And those people like her are doing all these things. They are taking the S pass, taking the working permit and all those kind of passes to stay in Singapore and do such business on TikTok and some online selling. And what worse is that, that some of them even promoting sex workers. Are they thinking that Singapore is a gold mountain for them to dig gold more and more? But still there's no law to govern them. Look at this one, that, uh, what thing is changing58.com Where do those girls coming from doing illegal sex in Singapore? We already have gay love water in Singapore that's legalized all the girls to be there to do their whatever job they want But now we are seeing a lot of people are using their own life to do this kind of thing Maybe from China, maybe from Malaysia They are doing all these things when they got their dependent bus when they got their S pass, when they got their wire work permit in Singapore to make Singapore a perfect nation. All those foreigners coming to Singapore to so abide by the law and behave themselves, but they are not doing that. They are literally taking advantage of Singapore and what the government has done for them. Give them the S pass, give them the permit, and then they start some kind of monkey business online. And TikTok allowed them to do all this. What the hell, man? Mama, do you know that a lot of whatever drivers or whatever delivery are start letting their accounts for those Malaysians to work as a food delivery workers or even drivers. So those Malaysians just come in out of Malaysia and Singapore to do some work in Singapore under someone's account. And they are not paying any tax or any permit fee to the government. Yet they are working in Singapore to work as a delivery person or driver. And there's no law. I don't think there's any law to govern that. And this is really what happened in Singapore. This is so ridiculous and so hilarious and so ironic. Now I'm the one who are checking on them and see all this in Singapore, but the JLLP police are doing nothing at all. What the hell, man? I can't imagine what is happening. There's one word for me to say about them. Trash! They are the foreign trash in society and also in Singapore. The authority should look for this matter. Literally. And also intelligently. If you have any comments, leave them down and subscribe, like, and follow my video.